Hello everybody, Young and Hard here, and welcome back to The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. Once again, we are back at Crow's Perch, because we're going to go talk to Bloody Baron, because we found out what happened to his wife. Things got messed up. So it seems like Anna didn't want to have Daya with the uh, Bloody Baron. She didn't want to have another child. So she asked the crones for help. And the crones were willing to help. They miscarried her kid. Or caused the Baron to miscarry his own kid. And then they took her for their slave. From what I can see, I don't know. It could be wrong. How can I help you? What are you selling? Hmm. So that seems all I can sell. Damn it. Take. Right, I'm out. Got eyes like a cat. Let's go talk to the Baron, tell him the bad news, his wife is not coming back, in one piece at least. I'm listening. What do you come to me with? I got bad news, buddy. Got news of your wife. Plowing hell, why'd you not say so forthwith? Where is she? Why have you not returned with her? She's in Crookback Bog. Got food, a place to live, and keeps herself busy. Didn't look like she had the slightest desire to leave. You were to bring her back, not report on the condition she lives under. I was supposed to find her, and I did. That was our deal, nothing more. That is true, but Geralt, you you're kind of forgetting to tell him something. To core. A base bastard, don't you? You believe I alone am at fault for what happened here? <sighs> what aren't you telling me? Well, yes. Actually, that's exactly what I think. The world might seem black and white to you witches, but for us common folk, it's shades of grey. As is my family's story. Probably gonna say you're not the only one to blame. Alright then, I'm willing to hear your side of the story. Hmm... Yeah, you got nothing, With Annie, don't you? It was love at first sight. A spear tore through my shoulder at the Battle of Anchor. She tended to my wound. Once I'd recovered, I asked her to marry me. She wept with joy. Soon after, Tamara was born. And after that, they sent me to Sidaris. A warlord had risen against King Athen, and Faltest sent help. It was one battle to the next, one conflict after another. It was a life of war. I was seldom home, and I found comfort in drink. Grew so fond of hooch, I couldn't part with it when I did get home. Mm. All right. What then? I went from front to front, battle to battle, collecting soldiers' coin, while Anna sat alone with the babe for months. Later, I learned she'd not been so alone after all. For nearly three years, she'd found comfort in the arms of one Evan, a childhood friend, a dog's bunghole. Understand, damn it? One tussle in the hay I'd have waved aside, put it out of my mind. But the woman cuckolded me for years without a whisker of concern for me, for my love. I get that you were cheated on, dude. It sucks. It's happened to a lot out? of people, but 
Come on. Came home one day and Anna was gone. The things too. Found a letter. She wrote that she didn't love me. That she'd left me for that knob licker and taken Tamara with her. Let me guess, you Felt killed like the knob licker. I rammed in the arse by a horse. I went to find the bugger. To get the girls back. Bring them home. Yet soon as I saw him, something turned inside me. Something dark. I slaughtered the shit-eating twat and fed his carcass to the dogs. Hmm. Guess they call you the Bloody Baron for a reason after all. What? Your nickname. Makes sense now. No, no, that's an entirely different <laughs> story. No, 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 that's different. Imagine Anna wasn't exactly pleased. Ha! Bloody understatement if I've ever heard one. She flew into a fit, hysteria, threw herself at me, kicking and clawing. Finally grabbed a knife. It would have been the end of me if I'd not leapt aside. It was the first time I hit her. I had to calm her. Felt I had no other means. Things changed. They would never be the same. Anna tried to take her own life. And mine, several times. She would prod me, goad me, taunt me, in the hope I would hit her again, perhaps. She'd scream that I'd robbed her a life of love, that I'd destroyed the idea for her, and so I might as well kill her. How many times I apologized. How many armfuls of blooms and gifts I brought. She cared not a bit. Two years of her anger had turned to indifference. Broken at times were her bouts of hysteria and my bouts of drunkenness. Cannot fathom how we survived those years. But we did. Now as you know now, not everything was as it might have seemed. Hmm. It's still... you're still at fault. Got only yourself to blame, I think. Leaving her to fend for herself. How was I not to? I was a soldier. I had no choice. There's always a choice. It's got ah, a point. sod it all. I see all my prattlings for naught. You won't bring Anna home, I know that. Will you betray to me how she landed in that bloody swamp? She made a pact with the crones and... Well, I think she might have lost her mind. A pact? What the bloody hell? She was with child, a child she didn't want to bear. Went to the crones for help. They promised to rid her of the problem in exchange for a year of her service. And they kept their word, in their own twisted way. What do you mean? Anna must have thought the child inside her would somehow disappear. Instead, the crones sapped her of strength, and ultimately forced her body to miscarry. I think that's when she started to lose her mind. Then they placed magic tethers on her. Tethers that cause great pain when tested. A guarantee she'll pay off her debt. A pact with witches? Bloody nightmare sounds like some jest. We must get her out. We can't leave her there. Hmm. Venturing into the swamp, even with armed men, is just a bad idea. It's a dangerous place inherently, and I think those crones are a greater threat than anyone realizes. I'll not sit on my ass waiting for them to return her. Would you wait? Count on their mercy if they had your daughter? Probably not, but I'm a witcher. And I'm a husband and a father who's fucked up his life and the lives of his loved ones. I'll gather my men, go there and retrieve Anna. Hmm. So in reality, the crones made him, uh, made the wife miscarry, not him. Okay. Still an asshole, but okay. We had a deal. I've done my part. Your turn to do yours. A word once given. Now what did I last? Basilisk. It had just attacked you. Ah, right. Gargantuan. 
One solid brute. I'm gonna guess Siri killed it. And then the wild hunt found him. Maybe. Oh. Land right in front of us. I thought we breathed our last. Watch out! If I don't survive this, you're to take whatever you want from the fortress. <laughs> You'll survive! Let's show this bastard what we're worth! Alright, just in case, you can t you can rob my shit. I'll give the Baron that. He's, you know, he's thoughtful. He did take for Siri. Have I got anything? No, I haven't got crossbow or anything. Alright. Just gonna have to hit it with a sword. No, what are you doing? Siri, get off the horse! You dumb girl. I wanted to dodge, not jump on the horse. Woohoo! Woohoo! Over here. Nope, over here. Over here. Shit. I must say it is very fun playing a Siri. Damn it! I can't leave him like that. Oh. <laughs> the Baron's still going for him. Siri, you badass. <laughs> Holy shit. Siri, you are a beast. <laughs> he couldn't get the scavenging. <laughs> oh, Baron. You're an asshole, but I love you for comedy. You have everything? Yes, thank you. What you did for me, I, I shall never forget it. Where even? You helped me as well. What the hell when just appeared behind me? Here, you fed me, cared for me, had my wounds looked after. We're even now. You needn't leave. You're in good company here. We'll always have a warm corner for you. I must leave. Wraiths pursue me. The wild hunt. I was foolish to use the power. They're sure to have caught my scent. The wild hunt? Pursuing you? Ah, oh, because she teleported up there. Here. You must tell the people to bar their doors and windows. And no one is to wander the night. And you? Where do you think you're going? Now, I ride for Novigrad. And then, who knows where. She mounted and rode off. It grew awfully empty without her. Redanian armies blocked the Pontar crossing, yet you sent Ciri to Novigrad. 
She was looking for a sorceress, and all of them are in Novigrad. Besides, I didn't leave her at the Redanian's mercy. I gave her a letter of safe conduct. Where do you get these letters? Haven't always led this pack of jesters. Served in the Temerian army once. Redanians guard the crossing. True. But with a bit of fame and a friend here and there, well, banners and heraldry don't mean so much. Huh. So there's a chance Ciri's still in Novigrad. Thanks for helping her. It's nothing. Now you've learned what you wanted to know, you must be in a hurry. But, if you could... Spit it out. I want to go get Anna. Free her, bring her back. I don't believe she's there willingly. Must have not heard me. Any journey into the swamp is suicide. I heard you. Which is why I could use your aid. I've no more tales of Siri to offer. <sighs> go with me and I'll be generous with what I do have. Very generous. Ah, uh, let's help him. Mm. If only to help Anna. coin never hurt. Ha! Plus, he did help Siri, so... I'll round up my men and ride to Down Warren. You can join us there. Fine. Sounds good. What the fuck? What the? There you are. What the fuck? Escaped again. What the fuck? <laughs> what was that? You tell me. Man or monster? My men call him Uma and say he's a beast. But he seems a man to me. Just hideous as Ardle's shit. Hmm. Uma. Strange name. Aye, strange. But he gave us no other. You mean he can talk? Hardly. It was like this. I asked what they called him. He sat there, not saying a thing, trying to stick a toe up his nose. So I grabbed his hand, looked him in the eyes, and asked, What's your name? Gave me this damn foolish look and stammered, Ooh, Uma? And it stuck. Hmm. Hmm. Doesn't look like a monster, but my medallion's trembling. Strange. Where'd you find him? Funny story, actually. I won him in a game of cards. <laughs> Funny story? How so? I went to Novigrad once to rest, indulge in the city's pleasures. Stayed at a tavern and some folk they were playing, so I joined in. Cards were kind that day. Had one devilish hand after another. Robbed the horses blind. One fellow, the merchant, took it especially hard. He'd gambled away everything he'd brought from Skellige. Wanted terribly to play another hand, so I agreed. Asked him what he had to wager, and he showed me that sideshow. Not much in it for me, but fuck it, I thought. I'll give the man a chance to win something back. Luck was not with him. And Uma wound up here at Crow's Perch. End of story. Now you've got a court jester, I suppose. Proper baron now. Even got a jester. Aye. Though I feel something's not right with him. How so? Well... He seems more beast than man, but there's wisdom, cunning in the bastard's eyes. Or maybe I'm imagining it. Ever run into anything like him? No, but he doesn't look dangerous. Hmm. He just looks dead right confusing. That. Doesn't eat much, so as long as he's no trouble, the boys might as well have some diversion. Time I was on my way. So long. Farewell. I hope you find your daughter. Hmm. And prove a good father to her. What was that under your breath?
Suppose we go help the Baron rescue Anna now, I guess. Alright, Baron, let's go rescue your wife. Or at least try. A beauty? What the devil do you mean? A great mare. A horse fiend. Folk done went mad. Lunged at each other. Murdering all neighbors. Oh, and the spirit in the, the tree. Spirit of the forest, taking revenge on those who sought its demise, driving them mad. Geralt, good you've arrived. I've trouble drawing any sense from their canting. Should give him a taste of the whip to bring him in line, cause... M my lord, tis what they... they said too. About the mare, meaning... That is the forest's dark ghost. Who claimed so? The... the... W w w witch hunters passed through just now, heading for the village in the swamp. S -s Some... Lass was leading him, asking after her mother. Oh, That's... Tamara! We must go there at once, Geralt. Agreed. I'll gather my men. Okay, A. Whoops. That's the spirit of the tree did this. Whoops. Second of all, Tamara's leading the witch hunters the after the crones. Swamp. I don't like this. Uh, Baron, they're real. You'll know that soon enough. Right. More likely some mad old wenches making mincemeat and peasant minds. Likely Anna agreed to stay with them, care for them out of the kindness of her heart. Good as gold, that one. Always. Boy, are you gonna be surprised. She's nuts! And the crones are real. You'd think a man that was attacked by a basilisk would know that, you know, witches could be real. But whatever. I still can't believe the spirit in the tree went nuts. I specifically told it not to. Goodbye. <laughs> Come on, Baron. What is taking you so long? This does not bode well for us. Oh, hello, Rot Fiend. Hey, that wizardry is saving your life, thank you very much. Oh shit. Come on. Really? Woo. 
<laughs> I don't think that's exactly how a water hag is created, but okay. Alright, shit's about to go down, so... Let's wait. Get some health back. Uh-oh. Tell you later. Oh, let's go. I don't think this is going to turn out well for the Baron somehow. Like he's going to give up himself for his wife and Witcher, child or something. Change your mind. How much did my father pay you? Don't think you have anything to fear. Brought your new friends with you. I have no fear, for the eternal fire protects me. Hmm. <laughs> Won't need to protect you from me. Tamara, dear daughter, you return after all. Come, don't deny me this embrace. Stay away from me. I've come for mother. Unlike you, I'll not see her rot in this swamp. Why the hell do you think I'm here? To take her home? Oh, you'll do no such thing. You'll not lay a finger on her. Never. I'll not let you. You've a right to be cross. I was not the best husband, the best father. I know. But I've changed. Ask anyone. Geralt, come tell her. He has stopped drinking as far as I'm aware. Your father. He wants to find his wife, your mother. Really. He pay you much to be his yes man. Verily I say unto you that ire and vehemence can lead to naught but one's downfall. Who the bloody hell is this? And who are you to ask so crudely? This is my commander. And that should be of no concern to a drunken swine. Tamara, you stand with their kind now. Perhaps you'd have them torture and hang your own father. You're not my father. And I care not a bit what befalls you. <clears throat> oh, snap. I remind you we've a matter to resolve here. Witcher, will you help us? Wouldn't be here if I wasn't willing. I've lost five men and have little notion of what else to expect in this cursed place. Oh, trust me, there are no some weird to things lose. to expect. Crones so. could return any minute. Huh. How do you know they're not here already? Because we're still alive. Search the village. from the tapestry. Oh. Oh. Oh, no. What did the crones do to her? Is this because we freed the kids? Holy shit. Whoa, talk about consequences. We freed the spirit, the spirit freed the kids, and the kids left, so then they punished her. Oh my god. Is, is that her? Something's coming. 
Get ready. Oh. Uh, uh, what was that? Wolves? Did it sound like wolves? Because it wasn't. Oh shit. There's a lot of dark fog around us. Oh, the crones are coming. You burn in hell. Leave them alone. Holy shit, what the fuck are you? Let's burn you down. You boys whack it with swords, I'm gonna set it on fire. Damn it guys, just let me keep it on fire. It's stunning it. The fire stuns it. I'll fire it, stun it. You guys just attack. There we go. What was that? That's what I'm asking. Fiend to me. Crones have sensed us. They know we're close. Sent the beast for Anna. Those damned witches. When will it end? Look what they've done to her. Are they not satisfied? Just look at her. Do we even know that's her, to be honest? Do you know of these things? You must. What, what's wrong with her? Last I was here, she was nothing like this. Crones must have cursed her. Can you lift this curse? Killing the crones, Not maybe? I know what it is. She can't have lived here alone. Perhaps there's someone else. Someone who saw something. Johnny. Maybe Johnny. Who? Boy, a hermit, lives in the swamp. Came around here from time to time. He might have seen something. We must find him. Doesn't like strangers. You wait here. I'm better off going alone. Yeah, the witch hunters would probably kill Johnny. Let's not send them down there. Hmm. Alright, we're going to leave this episode here. We're going to continue this in the next episode. Things are getting weird. Alright guys, I'll see you next time. Bye.